Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. Um, thank you very much for your support and everything. I really appreciate it. Um, these days have been a really busy uh, start of the uni. So uh, I apologize if I couldn't upload a video in the past couple of weeks. But today I will be bringing a new video about uh, the GCSE grades that you need in order to get to medical school. So uh, talking about GCSE grades, uh, I haven't had the best GCSE grades in order to apply for medical school. So as you, a lot of you are aware, in order to get into medical school, you need to have a lot of uh, good grades and GCSE is a, uh, one of the priorities that they are looking forward. So According to my GCSEs, so I sat GCSEs in back in 2020. Uh, as you know from my first video, I have already told that I didn't, I'm not a person who went to school in the UK. So I had to go through college and then do GCSEs in there. So in the college, you can only manage to do five GCSEs, which are the main subjects are science. Uh, which includes biology, chemistry and physics and then English GCSEs and English GCSC maths. So talking about the GCSEs, uh, I, like I said before, uh, since I haven't had that much G other GCSEs, I had to stick to five GCSEs. Uh, so basically what unis are looking forward is at least you need to have uh, six in GCSE English or in GCSE Maths. So talking about my GCSE grades, so uh, I got GCSE, uh, for GCSE Chemistry I got nine, for GCSE Maths I got nine as well, and for Biology and Physics I got seven uh, and seven. So I was fine with those grades and I was so happy that I got that grades because I only had like six months to revise and stuff. Um, so, but the concern and I was so worried because uh, I got four in GCSE English. In that moment, I was so concerned and worried. What would I really do when I'm going to do A levels equivalent next year? Because uh, you will apply to uni with your predicted grades, and I only got. My concern was GCSE English. And I got four, or which is known as C, uh, in the grading grading system. So I was really concerned about GCSE uh, grade four in GCSE English. Uh, I researched a lot because uh, not a lot of unis are offering uh, GCSE English in grade four in order to qualify on the entry requirements for medicine. So I did research a lot and there are more things that they consider as well because you have to see the UCAT as an entry requirement as well because some unis consider high grade GCSEs and low UCAT. Some, some unis consider high UCAT and low GCSC grades. So there's this thing uh, which they're always looking at. So make sure you guys always research uh, your uni based on your GCC level uh, grades and your UCAT and most importantly the personal statement is miss makes a massive important role when you're doing the medical cycle application so I will try to bring a new video about my personal statement and what are the and what do you need to have in your personal statement in later videos as well uh, so getting back to GCSEs, I got GCSE 4 in GCSE English. A uh, lot of a lot of uh, people of my a uh, lot of people said it's not possible to you when to get into medicine. Uh, but from my experience, guys, there's always a way. Don't don't just um, get worried about if you got four in GCSE English or in GCSE Maths. There's always a way make sure you do a research a lot um I've, so according to my application as i got rejected last year i applied again this year and got in so since i already told i have gcsc english in four so i only could apply for bristol uh, for the five-year program and in plymouth i applied for the foundation year program 
and for Southampton for BM6 program I applied for the foundation as well and Exeter University, University of Exeter they they accept my GCC four in English so those are the four unis that I could apply because it restricted me from applying to other unis which I obviously will get rejected because of GCC English but Please guys, uh, I would recommend you to guys apply to foundation year programs. It's just an extra year which you will have to work more, uh, one more extra year and then you will straight away transfer into year one. So uh, if you think you haven't got the right GCSEs or low, one GCSE is low like myself, please guys just apply for foundation year. At the end of the day, you're going to follow the same course as the other people once you are going to transfer into year one so it's the base same thing but it's just one year extra so i still recommend you to apply for fund foundation because there's much more possibility to get into foundation if you see if you have low gcse grades so uh the bristol they 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 accepted my entry requirements and uh so i would say don't panic if you haven't got a uh, if you got GCSEs which are like four uh, in GCSC maths or English don't panic just apply for it uh, there's always a way uh, I would say uh, like myself I didn't expect to get two offers from having only five GCSEs and especially in English um, so just always keep their keep that motivation and resilience and there's always a way uh, uh, I was uh, so that's I in the previous videos I have talked about my journey as well so I want to impress as much as students to get into medicine so my GCSEs I think it will really help for, help help you guys to think guy think that there's still a chance there's still a possibility to, to get into medicine even with low GCSE grades so um, uh, please uh, make sure that you share this video and make sure you subscribe and comment down below and click don't forget to click the bell icon I will try to upload more videos about uh, the process of medical school the personal statement and stuff um, so I hope you guys enjoy the video uh, like I said before don't panic if you got a bad GCSEs just research well um, the the unis that I've said uh, just they are there they consider low GCSE grades as well so I would say just consider foundation years as well at the end of the day what it is important is that uh, you are in your medicine course so no it doesn't matter how you got there it, what it matters is the process and that that you are in medicine so as myself uh, if I can do it you guys can definitely do it so don't worry about your GCSE secrets at all even if you have four you can get into medicine as I have done so thank you guys I hope you all enjoy your video have a nice day